Hello, welcome to Crowded Lab channel. Today I will do Triplo AI review and demo. This is an AI assistant which I really enjoyed using. It is pretty unique compared to other AI assistants because it is available in form of standalone desktop application which is available for Windows, Mac, Android, Chromebook and Linux. With this tool you can invoke real-time assistance, generate content for your social media, you have access to smart prompts which you can customize, which I will show in a moment. You even can train this AI assistant on your data, so you can ask questions specifically about data that you loaded. You can set up automations, let's say to grab some data automatically and periodically and do some manipulations with that data. And as well, you can translate to more than 200 languages. Here is the brief look on their pricing plans. We can see that all set of features with automations and AI training, we have started with a pro plan, which goes from almost $80 monthly. And a great thing that Triplo AI on the moment of this review is available as a lifetime deal on AppSumo. Basically, you get access to all of those mentioned features. Like you can use this software on Windows, Mac, Android, Chromebook, and Linux. You can customize your own prompts, have access to smart prompts, use this tool in chat mode. And here are the plans on AppSumo. To start, there is license tier one, where you have 300,000 tokens. And for all plans, these tokens are GPT 3.5 Turbo. This model is pretty smart to be able to answer all of your questions and is able to generate any content that you need. But in order to have access to newer models like GPT-4, you will need to add your own custom key into this software, the key from OpenAPI. With License Tier 2, you have more tokens available and you can use the software on three devices. And starting with License Tier 3, you have additional features like AI training and automations. So you can load your own data and configure some automations. All right, so let's take a look at the tool. It comes in form of this floating window that you can see right now. And let's test it. For example, you can ask for road trip ideas in Italy, like so. Here it is. We see the responses being generated, providing us options what to see in Tuscany region of Italy. We can ask different other questions like how to make the best tasting coffee in the mocha pot. And here it is, we got our instructions how to use mocha coffee maker to get good tasting coffee. And let's start exploring some options of this tool on the example of this query. We have custom instructions. You can add your own custom instructions. One custom instruction can be enabled at a time. For example, let's use this one that I created, Yoda Jedi. This is the main instruction which will affect the response to your queries. Let's enable it like so, Yoda Jedi. We can see it here. And now let's repeat the question, how to make the best tasting coffee in a mock pot. And we can see the response is being generated in style of Yoda Jedi from my Star Wars. Like Yan Padawan, choose your beans wisely, Yan Wan. Here is another example of main custom instruction, like reply in Spanish. Here it is this instruction, use only Spanish language version from Spain, reply only in Spanish language. We can see it enabled. Let's ask something else like how to make kefir. We can see that our response is being generated in Spanish. Like so. Okay, let's explore other settings of the tool. We can tweak behavior of creativity and topic diversity, but for this demo, let's keep it in default values. 
We can also have custom prompts. For example, there is a prompt or comment summarize YouTube video where we can see description, the text, how we can invoke that comment and the actual prompt. Let's test it. Summarize YouTube. Let's use this video. It is about make great coffee with a mocha pot. And here it is, quick summary from that YouTube video. Let's see other example like Twitter message. Write a Twitter message about something and we will need to provide a topic. Like so, Twitter message, first Olympic games. Let's go. And here it is, our tweet. These custom prompts can be placed in the beginning of your query. You can also place those inline your content and you can store some context in these custom queries. Like I created Italy regions and now we can use this command Italy regions. Let me show you example. We can use the data like Italy regions. Pick one from Italy regions. There is a list defined there. So we are providing a context and give me road trip ideas. So we can see that Triple AI picked Tuscany and is providing us ideas what to visit there. Like probably must see, you need to go to Florence first. Okay, let's see what other features we have in this tool. We can see chat history, we can enable chat mode, so we can ask follow-up questions like how to make coffee in Filter Coffee Maker. In chat mode, you can ask follow-up questions, for example, how much water to add. And in chat mode, the tool will use the context of your conversation. We can see it describes the amount of water you need for filter coffee maker. Let's explore some settings of the tool. In the main settings, you will see license key. This is a trial one. It will expire soon. Open API key. I will change as well. This is the key you need to add if you would like to use newer models like GPT-4. We have some other preferences and we can invoke the window of this tool by some custom key combination. Here we can see also you can check in which language you need to scrape YouTube videos. And this one, custom trigger, I will show you right now what is it. Basically, you can use it anywhere you like. Let's say you're writing an email. First, you write what you want to get. Then you prefix it with that combination, like so. Now, the only thing you need to do is copy it. You will hear the pop-up sound. After some time, you will hear another pop-up sound. And now, the content that you requested is available in clipboard. And now, the only thing you need is paste it, like so. And here it is. So we can use this technique anywhere, like you post a tweet, write a Facebook message, anywhere you can copy and paste the content. And before we are moving to the conclusion, I would like to show you some additional features Triplo AI has. Some predefined smart prompts, which you can use, like I just showed you, to generate blog conclusion, to expand blog section, write blog intros. You have a lot of different commands, like defining a word meaning. Let me show you example of complain. Here is our Triplo AI window, and we can just start typing complain. Choose it, then you just type like so the main theme of your complaint. For example, web hosting provider slow website speed. And here it is. We are getting an email template to write a complaint. All right, moving to the conclusion. Triplo AI is a really nice and easy to use AI assistant. I liked the fact that it comes in form of standalone application, which you can run in Windows, Mac or Linux, and it's available virtually everywhere and all the time you need it. You can generate any content you like, you can translate in different languages, get responses in different languages, you can have access to smart prompts and have your own custom prompts saved. 
starting from license tier 3 you also have ability to add your own data to train this AI assistant and have ability to set up some automations and overall i think this tool triple ai delivers on the promise of being really AI assistant to help you in your daily tasks with this deal on AppSumo, you have 60 days money back guarantee, so you can try the tool and if you will like it, you have two months to return it and get fully refunded. To get this tool, please check the links in the description or scan QR code that you can see right now on the screen. Please also give this video a like and subscribe for more similar videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.